Okay, so I'm going to draw a picture of a cake and I want it to really stand out. So if I have a green background, I'm going to choose the opposite color for the cake and that's going to be red because red will really stand out against the green background because it's the complement of green. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I draw my cake and I will use a white colored pencil so that you can see it better is I'm gonna draw my ellipse That's a circle in perspective. So it's gonna be like a skinny circle. And then two lines down, because the cake is gonna be a cylinder. And then the bottom of the cylinder is also a circle in perspective. But because I can't see through the cake, I'm just gonna make the bottom curve. Now, my cake has two layers, so I'm going to do another ellipse, two straight lines, and then another curve. So my cake has two layers. All right, now I'm going to start to color it in. Now I've decided that the light part is going to be on my ellipses, and the darker part where the light is not hitting is going to be the sides of the cake. So I'm going to start by coloring in with the red on the sides and I'm going to press pretty hard because I'm using colored pencils. I want this to really show up against the green background. If I don't press hard, it's not going to be very bright and I want it to be bright. Now I'm also deciding that maybe the light is coming from over here. I'll even put, you know, like right here. So, this is going to be the darkest edge of my cake, even on the sides, and then this edge of my cake is going to be lighter. Now, I'm not pressing so hard with my red pencil on this side because I'm going to add a light color to highlight this side, and I want to have space for that light color to go on top of the red. But down here, I'm going to press pretty hard. And again, on this edge of my cake, it's going to be the same thing. Now, if you want to be creative with your cakes and choose a different color, if you have two tiers of your cake, maybe you want this to be purple, maybe you want it to be yellow, you can do that too. Mine's going to be all red, though. Okay, I want this to stand out because it's the lighter side. So I'm going to add a lighter color. I'm gonna blend it in. And this is gonna be the darker side. I think I'm gonna add a darker color. I'm gonna use purple because purple is analogous to red and it's darker than red. So I can add this to kind of help shade that edge of the cake. If you notice I'm cross hatching, I'm coloring one direction and then I'm coloring the other direction. So I'm getting kind of this crisscross shading happening. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, now, um, the ellipses, because remember, my light is coming here, so these are going to be lighter than these parts of the cakes, than the sides of the cakes. I'm going to start with this pinkish magenta color, and then I'm going to go over it with white. I'm using the pinkish magenta. It's different from the red, and I can easily make it lighter than the red by adding white. Okay. 
Now, because my light is coming from this direction, I'm also going to have a shadow of this part of the cake on this top, the ellipse of this part of the cake. So I'm going to color that pretty dark. All right, now I'm going to add my white. And again, I'm cross hatching. Right now I'm blending it to make sure that it looks nice and smooth. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm not so sure that I'm real happy with that edge of my cake. I think I need to press a little harder. I don't like that there's a corner there. I wasn't that great about my ellipse. I need to make sure that that's flattened out. There, that's looking a little bit better. And then this, I'm also not so sure how happy I am about it. Eh, it's okay. I'll make it a little darker. Now I'll add some red. Oh, I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing to the top. I'm going to add some red because I think I need that red in there I'm gonna add some magenta and then I'm gonna do a lot of white Okay, so I'm going to spend some more time blending this a little better. This right here needs to be finished. Pretty good. It's a little plain. Um, I think I'm going to try to add some decorations. Now, I haven't tried this before, but let's see what happens if I add a light line. Just to give a suggestion that maybe there's some decorations with the icing. Now I'm going to use a little bit of a purplish color to add some shadows because this is in the darker part of the cake. This will make it show up a little bit better. Um, maybe this is a cherry cake. Maybe I've got cherries. I'm going to add a light color to add a highlight to my cherries because I know the light's coming from up here. So the highlight of the cherries is going to be on that same side. There's also going to be a little bit of a shadow on these cherries. Again, it's going to be on this side because the light if the lights coming from here the lightest will be on the same side that the light is coming from and then the shadows will be on the opposite side of every single thing that you draw I'm 
there will also be a shadow on the surface where the cake is sitting. And that's how you can do a cake using colored pencil on colored paper.